Now you got me, I ain't you, boy. Jesus, Joe. What are you doing here? Being your fancy woman, I suppose. No, I'm not. I'm collecting Mary's photographs. And if I was having an illicit rendezvous with my mistress, I'm not sure that the supermarket that my father-in-law is doing the big shop in would be the best place for it, really. Quinn, you said? That's right. Here we go. Great. That'll be £3.75, please. And have you got your wee docket there? Yeah, I do, yeah. It's a wee red slip of paper, about J big. Yeah. Dark blue letter and it has. Yeah, I, I know. Not a navy blue now, more like a royal blue. I know what it looks like. Times New Roman, I believe the font is called. I just can't find it. Prick. Uh, look, uh, I'm sorry. Um, do you absolutely need it? I'm afraid I do, sir, yes. Proof of ID. But you have my surname written on it there. How do I know that's your surname? Because I just told you it was my surname. You could be lying. Well, why would I lie? To get your hands on someone else's photos. And why would I want somebody else's photos? Like, who would pay for somebody else's photos? Uh, a stalker, maybe? Yeah, exactly. Very good, sir. A stalker. I'm not a stalker. Look, why don't you just go home and have a wee look for your wee doc? No, this is ridiculous. Just open that up and take out one of the photos. <sighs> You see? Ask me wife there. How do I know you're not just telling me that? Because that's me standing beside her. I suppose you do look a bit like this man. I am this man. It could be you. It's definitely me. Look, my name is Jerry Quinn. This is my father-in-law, Joe. He can vouch for me. I've never seen this man before in my life. No docket, no photographs. How could you have lost the wee docket, Jerry? Hi, everybody knows you've to hang on to the wee docket. Look, I've said that I'm sorry. They were my birthday photos, for God's sake. There's definite grounds for an annulment here, Mary. I mean, you only turned 33 once. I'm 33 a few times now, in fairness, Mary. Well, aren't you a brave man, given the circumstances? Mary, come on. Would you not reconsider? No, dear. Please, love. Just up once. I'm not letting you hit him, dear. I'm devastated. That was when I lost the half stone doing the Rosemary Conley as well. My collarbone was sort of poking through my skin, do you remember, Mary? Ah, uh, you were far too thin, sir. No, it was. It was brilliant. And now I haven't got so much as a photograph to look back on. Look, it's gone. The docket's gone. Why don't we just move on? Why don't you just move out? You see, I was so focused on pissing off that gobshite my eldest girl's unfortunate enough to be married to that I completely lost sight of the fact that they were really her birthday photos. And my other girl, my younger girl, well, she was looking very slim at the time, so uh, go and grab them for me. There's a good fellow. I can't accept that. I think something's been lost in translation here, boy. Here, Daddy, get away for that. Well, that's very really nice, love. It's you. What? The photographs. Well, I remember you. I couldn't forget you. Hope you don't mind me saying this. But you have a cracking clavicle. I don't mind, Kieran. I don't mind at all. Oh, for Christ's sake.